So today I'm going to be cleaning up my front porch, getting rid of the kind of fall decorations now that Thanksgiving is over and we're going to kind of make it a little bit more Christmassy. I don't have too much time right now. It's early in the morning before church. I've got kind of a busy broken up day today. So this morning I'm going to help my friend sing at his church and that service is until 11. 15 but I have to be there at 10 15 and it's like 8 20 right now in the morning so I've got about an hour <laughs> before I have to uh, wrap it up and head out to do that then after that church service we'll probably get some lunch and then I'll have a little bit of time before I have to be at youth group later by like four o'clock because I help out leading worship uh, leading the music at my youth group and I kind of am a leader of like a bunch of the young students who are musicians and so we get there early in practice and I kind of lead help lead that so anyway I've got just a little bit of oh Max is out hey buddy so I've got a little bit of time right now and then a little bit of time before youth group and if you watched my evening night mini tour the other day you know I have zero time after youth group because it gets dark so quickly. So I have to take advantage of any daylight that I have these days. So with all that said, sorry, the little pom-pom broke off of my hat. It's like a snap-on. It comes with multiple ones, but sometimes it falls off. Anyway, with that being said, I think what we're going to do is go down in my gully and collect all of my evergreens that I have in terracotta pots. Each year I rotate them so they pretty much just stay out in the gully throughout the you know spring summer fall and then once it's winter time which Nate just told me this morning it's supposed to snow later today. <laughs> So in order to protect my terracotta pots, I'm going to be collecting them. You can see I've got one there, um, one there, kind of behind that tree, and then a couple more. And what I do is I just bring them up on my front porch throughout the winter, and I decorate them, use them as Christmas decorations. So it kind of saves them from cracking, the pots cracking from the winter, but then I also get to use them in the spring and summer so i'm just going to go down the gully collect all those and bring them up to the front porch and then probably honestly by that time <laughs> i will have to go inside because it's going to take me i have to gather them one by one and you guys i'm doing this by hand today i need a little bit of exercise if you're like me you probably ate way too much food over thanksgiving the next day the next day and i'll probably eat some more pie today so I could stand to do a little hard work so we're gonna do this by hand today all right That didn't take very long at all. Maybe like 10 minutes, <laughs> not even. I've got three Globe Arborvitae evergreens that I've had in these pots for, I don't know, going on five years now maybe. And then I have this little variegated English boxwood, which I love. I've got probably six or seven English boxwoods just like this planted in the back by, kind of back behind the pool and uh, they're just in the ground waiting for a forever home. And I tested this one out last fall to see if I liked it and I really like it in a pot. So I might pot up some of those other ones too and place them in other spots in my garden because I, I, really, I really love it in this little container and it's in the full shade pretty much. It brings a lot of brightness and shine to a shady area. 
anyway, I've got lots more time before I have to uh, head inside to go out to my friend's church. So I'm gonna kind of clean up the front porch here. As you can see, I've got some dead annuals that haven't made it through all the cold nights. We've got this sad try to scan to hanging basket so I can get rid of that and do something cool with the hanging basket. I'm going to take these pots into the back and overwinter them. They've got hikara in them. Some have some hasa that have dried out and then also just like some sedum. So I'll take those in the back. We'll get them overwintered. I'll take care of my little fall decorations here. That one just fell over. And then there he goes. It's time. Is it time, buddy? Yeah. And we'll flip this one around. And we'll wait for the big reveal. And then sometimes I will save my pumpkins if they're not too squishy. And I'll stack them and paint them into a snowman. So we'll see. I think they're pr actually pretty hard still. So we'll save, we'll probably save those and maybe I'll, I'll put them into a snowman. I didn't do that last year because they were too squishy. I might end up leaving the birch chunks. We'll see. But for now, I'm just going to kind of clean up some of these gross things, take those pots to the back. Oh, I forgot about those two boxwoods. Huh. Wonder if I should bring those up there too. So I'm just gonna set these, this right here for now. Um, maybe on these rocks. That way it will get like some snowfall for moisture throughout the winter, but it'll also be somewhat protected. And Man, I might bring these up to the front porch too. I forgot about these. I had quite a bit more time than I thought I would. I just kind of placed these temporary where I think they might go. I might end up moving them around, but I gotta head out to church really soon. But when I get back, we're gonna work on stringing up these evergreens with Christmas lights along with Christmas balls. And then I think I wanna put my little nativity scene on that little birch log and paint that into a snowman. And then I also have some like little Christmas picks that I got at the Dollar Tree last year that I saved. Oh, also I want to fix up my hanging basket, spray paint probably some hydrangea blooms or stilvia blooms or whatever I can find in the garden. So I'm heading off to go to church, but I will see you guys back here in a few. We'll see you soon. Bye.
so relaxed. Since we've no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. <laughs> Nate was right. The snow was a coming. But we are going to continue decorating the front porch. I've got some spray painting to do. But first, I need to collect some probably hydrangea leaves and um, see if that looks good. Oh yeah, that's cute. My little nativity scene. I got this for $5 at the Dollar General last year. What do you think, bud? Does that look good? So we will do that right there. But I need to uh, go collect some blooms, some dead blooms I want to spray paint to put in my hanging basket that is still sitting there on the side. So let's go collect probably some hydrangea blooms and I did leave my astobe blooms on because I knew I would probably be wanting to use them. So we'll collect some of those as well and then possibly some of the sedum over there. But let's start with the astobe and hydrangea. I'm doing this in the garage because it's, I don't know, 15 degrees outside. I was at the Dollar General this morning and I didn't know they had spray paint. Well, you can get spray paint for five bucks a can at the Dollar General. Whether or not it's good, I don't know, but it's better than paying like 15 bucks at the Ace Hardware store. And I got green, red, white, and uh, gold. I had some of this spray paint last year because I did this last year, but I think I used it all up on something else. Otherwise, I wouldn't have had to buy that. I did get two cans of the white because the astobe I noticed when I painted that last year. Oh my gosh, look, you can see a little ice icicle on that one. <laughs> How cold it is. When I painted this last year, I think I painted it like red and different colors of green. It didn't take very good because of how dark the blooms are. So I'm gonna spray paint it white first and then paint it the white and green if I end up doing a color. And what I'm gonna do just to kind of make sure I contain my mess is put them in this box and spray paint them. So, you know, we will see how this goes. <laughs> We'll see how this goes. All right, let's see how this works. That your fluffy talons. Ah, uh, so beautiful. Great. Five buck Dollar General spray paint. Let's see how it does. already the cap is like not on there the cap is not on it could be um excuse me <laughs> hey buddy hey I'm trying to spray paint in there can you get out thank you <laughs> that was a close one all right, I got the cat back on. I just had to kind of push it on, so we'll see how it goes. Not bad so far. So that was just one side, and it did pretty good. I'm just gonna flip them over. I turn the light on it. It's 
pretty. I ended up doing the red over top of it and I completely forgot to push record. But look how great it came out. Isn't that pretty? Worked really nice. I might spray that one just a little bit more. But I'm gonna continue to do that with a few more of my Astilbe. And then I think I wanna paint these blooms green. white ones which I really liked and I tried a red one and the red was almost too bright so I added a little bit of white over top of it to try to get like a snow effect but I don't know if it worked anyway I'm gonna do a couple more of those red ones but I like to do stuff like this because well besides the spray paint I had to go buy that but it's only five bucks a bottle you guys this spray paint from Dollar General is awesome for stuff like this that, uh, you know, it's just, I'm probably gonna throw these away at the end of the season or in the spring. I mean, I'm definitely gonna go there again for spray paint. The only thing is they only have very few colors. So they have like red, white, blue, like basically all of the uh, primary colors there. So let's get the red one. So, I mean, they did have gold and silver. I tried this, here I'll show you what the gold looks like. I tried the gold and I didn't, it, it kinda just looked like brown. Oh, oh. I mean, it's pretty, but, it's pretty, but it almost just looks like the hydrangea just a little bit shinier. And honestly, that's kind of cool. Where did that go? I think I might do a few gold ones too. So I'm gonna have to go get a couple more stems. I really like this, actually. It adds just a little bit of shine. I don't know. All right, I'm gonna do this one red. But anyway, I used to decorate with like more evergreens and stuff like that. And that was only when we got a real tree. I would just take the trimmings from the real Christmas tree that we had and use them in my decoration. So it wasn't like I was spending any money on it. But since we got Max, we don't have a real tree anymore because he likes to climb the tree. So I just resort to doing stuff like this. It doesn't really cost a lot of money. I don't want to cut off any of the evergreens in my yard. I like to leave the evergreens how they are. I do have a big pine tree right there, but it's not technically my pine tree, it's my neighbor's, so I don't want to cut off that. And I don't really have a lot of evergreens in the woods here where I live, so I just resort to using what I have most of the time. But I'm gonna go get a couple more branches and do gold. I'm gonna undo one of these hooks, just easier that way. Let's do two of them. And start putting these in. I might have to uh, cut some of the stems, we'll see. But we'll try to just rotate. Maybe I'll put all the greens in first, because that's what I have the most of. Even though I have a gold in there already. And if I have to go get mower, no problem. These lasted all season last year. Even when we had like tons of uh, snow. I think I'm gonna actually make these shorter so they 
I can, they can go down further. But anyway, they lasted all season last year. I actually, when I ended up tossing them in the spring, I contemplated keeping them because they still looked really nice. They would, they lasted through like really heavy winds and everything like that. So that was exciting. Might have to get more, we'll see. Ooh, that snow is cold. Let me cut that one. all done and I think it looks really great uh, the only thing I spent money on was the spray paint and I didn't even use like a quarter of those cans I actually bought two of the white cans and I didn't even use one full can so I can totally use those for next year and possibly the following year as well uh, I won't have to spend any money on anything but let's see what it looks like in this corner I just have my cute little snowman and then down here I've got my nativity scene I got for five dollars 
on this birch tree. And then my boxwoods. I just tied some burlap string and bows around them. I've been using these same bows for a long time. So they're kind of getting ratty, but they look good. I ended up using Christmas balls for like kind of mulch. And then I put some on the actual plants as well. Same thing over here. I just tied a bow around there. Got the balls for some mulch and then on the plant as well. My little snowman turned out pretty good. This is just one of our winter hats. I hot glued a bow on there, painted a cute little face, stuck a carrot in there for his nose, got some string for his scarf, and then painted his little buttons there. I ended up being able to see part of the orange pumpkin, so I went in and got this fluffy little wreath that I wasn't using for Christmas and I put him underneath there and it kind of looks like snow. So that's kind of cool. Same thing with these little evergreens here. I just decorated them with some ribbons and balls. I ended up using my cute little bird. I thought that was pretty. And then up here, my hanging basket turned out really nice. This is always really hard to see the colors, but I really like how it turned out. And like I said, this will stay in here and last until the spring when I come in and replace it and down here I put a little variegated boxwood with a little bow on the front and then up here I got this for two dollars I think at a little store called B2 Outlets and it is an amazing store they have crazy deals in there if you can get your hands on stuff but I think it turned out pretty nice and I'm excited oh forgot one more thing I do have a few picks let's poke those in and see if those look know. good these might be too much I got a Santa a penguin and a Christmas tree but it might add some more color so let's poke them in the evergreens and see what we think <coughs> it's actually not bad I actually love that. That's so cute. What do you think, Max? <laughs> yeah. Just got a little Santa Claus in there. And then a Christmas tree in the middle one. And then a little penguin on that one. So this is what it looks like when you're walking up. Super festive. And that actually lights up as well, the joy. Well, thank you guys so much for hanging out with Max and I today on the front porch. And it feels really good to get this done and it's super festive, fun, and I wish I could say it was free, but it wasn't this time. I did have to pay $5 uh, each for those cans and um, that's totally fine. So what did I do? Like one, two, three, four. So 25 bucks for those cans and I'll be able to use them for years to come. Well, I hope that y'all are having a wonderful time after Thanksgiving that you were able to spend time with your friends and family. And now you are gearing up for the next amazing holiday, which is Christmas when Jesus was born. So, all right, we will see you guys later. Bye.